is the most hated driver in all of Street Outlaws? An interesting topic to discuss because, I mean, there have been a handful of guys a lot of people have disliked over the years. I, I already know who you guys are going to be spamming in the comments down below. This is the number one guy, Reaper. I mean, like, Reaper's fine, man. Like, how he is on this show, like... To be fair, like, I, I do feel like he brings a lot of the negativity around him upon himself. Like, with the instance on the list, you guys remember when he, like, had the carbon fiber skins in, or he had the carbon fiber shell of the car and just steal skins outside, but the carbon fiber was still there inside. It was like, and he was like, oh, no, it's real and legit and all that stuff. Like, because of that, like, he shoots himself in his own foot a lot of times with that kind of stuff. And his attitude that we talked about everyone, like, people... People really don't like Reaper. I've always said, like, I got no issues with Reaper. He just looks always kind of mad and scary in all the thumbnails of his videos he makes. But right now, like, someone might be rivaling Reaper. And it, the way in which I say this is the most hated driver isn't the way in which people hated Reaper. Like, people actually genuinely didn't like Reaper. I think people just don't like this guy because they think he's, uh, he's cocky and, like, the new guy. And it's like, people just don't like him because of his success, I think you can save to say, which is an honestly polar opposite reason as to why people were saying they didn't like Reaper. That driver's Justin Swanstrom. him. You guys know I love him. One of my favorite drivers in all of Street Outlaws, arguably my favorite driver in No Prep Kings. And I saw him make this post. He posted a picture of the No Prep Kings trophy sitting on the corner of the floor of his shop. And, dude, someone left a comment saying, like, I'd send you, like, 500 bucks or something like that for it. He's like, man, probably should do something with this thing. I don't know if it was all rusty to begin with, but it looked a little bit rusty in the picture he posted. And it's like, dude, people don't really like him enough already. It's just, like, he's, like, the perfect guy that's, like, a good positive guy in the show. But, like, he'll bring those, like, hater fans there. And it's, like, good to have stuff like that because, like, the haters are the biggest fans at the end of the day. It's good to have those guys that are hating on Swanson because they're giga fans of the show at the end of the day because they're following everything he does to hate on him. Then they watch the main show. It's, like, it's good to have him there with all his haters alongside with him. But, man, he's just, like, he had to have done that on purpose, right? Swanson's smart. He does social media better than any other street outlaw there is. He did that on purpose because he knows that's just pouring fuel on the fire to just make people even more mad going in this next season of Street Outlaws. I saw someone say, like, should have given it back to Kai instead for when he should have won it or something like that. Like, dude, he's just, ah, he's just, you know, stirring the pot a little bit, shaking up the coals, adding some fuel to the fire. Like, I love Swanster, man, even though he might be the most disliked slash hated driver in all of No Prep Kings and Street Outlaws in general.